Hello there everyone, Island Mark 3 here and welcome to a happy happy fun time full of sunshine and rainbows. Yeah, no. Well, you know I'm a sucker for things with good presentation, atmospherics, and this one copped up on my radar quite a while back. I got it, then it had development issues, uh, developers ran out of money, had to move into projects. So there's some back and forth and a lot of people lost faith in this one. But it has actually continued to receive work and it has actually in the last couple of days released to version 1.0 with the storyline finished. Um, so uh, I was I was kind of promised myself I'd play this one properly when it uh, actually released and so here we are. Surviving the Abyss. City management. Somewhat dystopian, somewhat eldritch. We're at the bottom of the ocean as well, so there's also uh, that going on. There's not that many colony city builder things that uh, do a, an impressive job down at the bottom of the ocean, but this one always kind of stuck out a little bit as being a decent one to me. So I was a bit sad when it actually had problems in development. <laughs> but yeah, why do things keep releasing in batches? Tectonics has had a big update 1.0 today as well. Not today, last couple of days. I only found out about it just before recording this one. And there's also I want to continue the series. That's just ah. Every time I look away, something happens. <laughs> anyway, surviving the abyss. Yes, I might have done a video on this in the past or so. But I don't think I did. I think I tried to, and then I wasn't too happy, and it didn't continue. But uh, yeah, anyway. Surviving the Abyss, full release. Let's see what they have made with it. Though, full disclaimer, I did early access this, but I was also content with how much game time I had with it for the price I paid for it. So, that's my yardstick for things that go into early access. It's like, pay for what you can see is there, not for future promises. That way, if things go sideways or go a bit wrong, you're not bitter about it. It's justifying what you're actually getting rather than what's promised in the future. Anyway, new game. So having the abyss. Um, full disclaimer, a bunch of the mechanics and things have been reworked and revamped, or in some cases completely overhauled since last I played, so I am not super up on what's happening. So, normal with tutorial, because I want tutorial. In particular, I know the cloning system has been revamped. Uh, yes, we are dealing with... Um, th this is part of the dystopian side of things. We are dealing with cloning technology in this one. Uh, establish a base with early guidance from your superiors on the surface before embarking on your position to perfect cloning in the depths of the ocean. That, see, cloning, integral to the story. This mode is the standard experience of the ga game with intended difficulty. Scenario contains some guiding objectives to help new players get the basics of establishment. I know some of the basics. I think I should know some of the basics, but I've not touched this game in, I think, several years. So, yeah. Start new game. So often, um, undersea games are actually brightly lit, they show you everything, but this one actually plays with the darkness in the depths of the ocean. That's why it's called the Abyss. We are really far down on the seafloor. Also, I'm looking at this very black screen. Please don't tell me it's. Please tell me it hasn't got wrong. <laughs> oh no, it was just being slow. Okay. 1956, much came to be known about the structure of DNA and the human genome. Human genome? The possibility okay. of cloning a human being was becoming a reality. As our brightest minds race to be the first to complete the endeavor. After a few short years, scientists reported the first promising results. A human being was cloned for the first time. The celebrations, however, were short lived. The test subjects were unstable, their DNA damaged by the cloning process. All died within days. Moral objections to the technology turned to public outrage. Outrage turned to protests. And eventually, protests turned to riots. Publicly, 
The research was discontinued. The military, however, was quick to understand the strategic potential of this research. Why stop at recreating life when it could be improved? Oh, there's the rabbit hole the right there. <laughs> to continue the research in total secrecy, far from the prying eyes of the world, deep below the surface of the ocean. The sea floor provides access to new, highly adapted life forms and ample DNA for experimentation. But the deep sea environment presents a significant challenge. You have been selected to lead a team of the best and brightest. The lives of the crew are in your hands. Okay, so we, yeah, that's the other thing. We're also kind of playing God because we are creating these lives. We are meddling with these lives, and they are very short-lived. But we are creating them for our basically our exploitation and then our purpose. It's all there. Like um, they got it working, then they actually went and created full clones, which um, has been subjected to lots of debates in scientific um, circles. Like uh, cloning organs and things, yeah, but cloning whole organisms ethical questioning. So they actually created whole organisms, they actually phoned to failure and died, kind of like flash cloning in the Halo series, like um, flash cloning led to a whole bunch of health problems for the cloned individual and then they would um, inevitably die after a long difficult life <clears throat> excuse me, or a short difficult life so it's like, yeah, you know then this one, because the military and Vess's interests want this to continue like it's like who wouldn't want super soldiers you could just stamp out of a machine like print your army off you go yeah biological machines the human body is technically a machine it's just um organic in base rather than mineral so yeah also it's very messy unlike um even the most complex of our real world machines are fairly simple compared to biology so yeah anyway to keep it in secret, we are now hid tucked away at the bottom of the ocean. The thing is, we've only got a few people, so we're also going to be trying to tinker with and improve the cloning, and that'll modify the kind of clones we get. And we are trying to progress the goals of our masters, for better or worse. So, central hub, this is our core structure. It's got floodlights which illuminate the surrounding area. We can only operate really within the light areas as far as construction of bases and things are concerned. Um, out in the darkness, things don't work properly, and yeah, so this game doesn't give you massive visibility, which I was starting to talk about back um, back before the cutscene. It's like, often see games like, super futuristic, it's all clear waters, it's all actually quite shallow, if that's that much light down there, but this is really deep, and this is a setting that's not often explored. So, all the tutorials, okay. What are my objectives? Uh, I don't really see my objectives. Hmm. Ah, well, I guess I'll just start building. Either that or I'll just stop pausing it. So, the thing is we need everything. There's uh, food, minerals, fuel stockpiles. I think I have those? I don't know. Coal generators, which... Oh, a thing. I heard a beep! Why did I hear a beep? Oh, here we go. Pfft. Right. No objectives. <laughs> Thanks, game. Oh, wait, there it is. Good luck, Overseer. The work you're undertaking will benefit all humanity. Thank you. Thanks for the pep talk. Okay. Yeah, I kind of forgot that the little thing pops up and that's where you have to go and click on the all that. Right. Welcome, Overseer. You're receiving this transmission from the primary control hub located 7,861 meters overhead. I'm nearly eight kilometers underwater. Trust your acclimatization process went smoothly. Yeah, this deep got pressure issues. So, yeah. Initial task crucial and short consistent supplies of power, oxygen, and food. Also, keep an eye on fuel and building material procurement. Next major task on our list setting up operation, cloning lab. Good luck, Overseer. The work you want to take will benefit all humanity. Okay. So, I need to start doing things. Power is produced by coal, but the thing is, it, it notices it has an air quality impact. So, it actually. Um, Affects the air quality in the connected structures, which can cause health problems. Oxygen generator produces oxygen by um, basically processing the water outside, but it takes power to do so. 
basic living quarters, houses um, a certain amount of base population. Light towers allow us to extend our range. Submarine facility allows us to build new submarines, which we do need. We've got three mining subs right now, but uh, we can produce more subs and some other types of subs as we go. Sonar tower, which is used to ping and explore around our area outside the light to find resources and um, interesting deposits and uh, biomes. So it's like, this is one of our key exploration things. Basic research lab produces research data. Modules can be attached. Um, a lot of buildings modules can be unlocked through research and attached to modify or improve performance. Tech, we have cloning labs. This is where a lot of our workforce is going to be coming from. We have the fauna trap, which um, this is where modification starts to come in because we can harvest um, local ecologies to get access to DNA samples from aquatic life. And then we can splice that with our human DNA to modify the traits of the clones. Then also there's a marine stabilizer because this actually boosts the recovery rate of ha habitats in range, which either through um, fauna trap or later through food, pr food production, they will slowly deplete. And if they actually hit zero, the habitat dies. So this is vital for maintaining an indefinite supply of what, what we need. So let's begin. Uh, what, what do we even have? Got a couple of fuel deposits. Do I need stashes? Is that, am I am I missing things? I mean, there, there are some things. I, I, I know this. I should have refreshed myself on the flipping tools before I started this. Ah! Some commands. No. I thought there was a tool for this. You can tell I'm struggling a little bit, can't you? Uh, I'll have to dig into this a little bit. There should be something about resources. Each building requires resources. It deposits. Yep, there we go. You set the tower to scan and find things. Different biomes. It's just deposits. Place a nearby mining relay. That's what I was, I was missing. Right. Mining relay. It should be under. Where, resources? Here we go. Yeah, mining relay. Yeah. So this allows us to uh, allocate subs to resources within range of it. You can see it's highlighting what's nearby. There's a bit of concrete there. There's a um, whole bunch of stuff nearby. The thing is, we can't actually build in these areas before we tap out the resources, so we do want to be harvesting stuff. So I'll put one there. You're harvesting those. You can harvest those. You can harvest these two. And I will assign. And now I can dedicate number of subs, and they'll tag all deposits within reach of these um, relays until they run out. So, what do I need? I need concrete. I need steel. And I will need coal. So that's all three of my mining subs set. And off they go. Regular supply of building resources and fuel. Mining relay. I literally just did that. So yeah, I actually jumped the tutorial slightly. So, let's go ahead and push onwards. I want to get... A basic research. Oh yeah, sorry. The central hub counts as a generator. It produces a little bit of power, a little bit of oxygen, a little bit of things. It does a bit of basics by itself, but for actual stuff, we need to produce more. So let, let me just um, try to re familiarize myself slightly. By the way, the um, blue lines coming up; those are connection ports for tunnels. I think let's drop. This over here. Then I want a power line, which again follows the whole same thing, but it has to get underneath it to there. That costs steel. And then a tunnel, which I'll connect like that. And that'll do that. And that should take. Yeah, there are a couple of building subs there. A couple of constructors. And then that'll produce that. Excellent. Right. Uh oh, the key tech. Oh, the key tech. I know what I'm doing. No, I, I feel super rusty, super not quite sure what I'm doing. So it's just like, yeah. Um, I try to arrange things in patterns, or I used to, but the problem is that I've forgotten the patterns quite a lot. 
let's just attach this building to the side of our hub, I suppose. Actually, you know what? What is the... We only need one cloning heart these days. I remember that from some old patch notes. We used to have build multiple to increase our cloning rate, but right now one is all we need. Let's build one out here. And research lab onto the side of it. That'll do. That'll do. Notice, by the way, power cables have a one tile reach around them. So I can just drop it right there. Oops, no. Tunnels. And then connect to that. There we go. I probably need some more oxygen, though. Another pop up. Next up, power and oxygen. Central people use both, but we're going to need more, more to continue this pattern of construction. Build oxygen generator and a coal generator. I am doing so. I am doing so. Oxygen generator is another one which connects into this pattern. Um, it's a fairly little one, though. Are you a biome? No, you're not a biome. Actually, there should be a biome lens here. Oh no, that, that's telling me about my local biome. That's not what I wanted. See, I'm shocking. I'm shocking. I do want the sonar tower though. I want the sonar tower operational so that I can start scouting stuff. Let's actually just slap it in there. So that's going. That's going. This is. Um, I don't have any. Yeah, I don't have any places yet within reach. Ah, here you go, right. We got ourselves a power station. So far, so good, right? Notice, by the way, it's got um, three crew assigned to it, which is generating power. But, well, that's also modifying our output. So, right now, we have a massive amount of power. We don't need that much, so we can actually save some of that by cutting down on the people in it. So, Manage resources. I don't need to burn the coal because I don't need the power. And I never did tell it to build an oxygen generator. Yeah. Eh, build one over there, please. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. This is probably not the more riveting part of it. This is like, I am literally going a little bit slow because it's like I'm trying to patch together memory of like what the hell I'm trying to do. <laughs> I used to be a lot better at this, but then, like any good sim game, there is a fast-forward tool. Oh, minus one. That's not working. We actually need the power generators to kick in now. Now, I can tell him who to assign. Unemployed, and then I can pull from different jobs. There's actually people in clone lab. Go ahead and do that. So that's now available. That's now operational. Clone lab is on, but I have no genomes yet, so... I can actually disable that. Wait for the... Ah, that's what I was waiting for. Sonar Tower. Okay, right. So, Sonar Tower. Where's the control for this thing? Oh, right. I can make it for various things, right? And it'll search for that kind of thing within its reach. This is the operational limit of the uh, Sonar Tower, so it's good to have it like near my initial tower. But I can actually ping far outside if I pulse on the edges of my area. And notice it's giving us a general indication of what might be nearby as well. Like if there's nothing, it'll say none, so I know I don't need to waste a ping there. But what I'm actually trying to figure out right now is habitats. So low. Oh, there's a brief flicker up to medium in this area. So this one is beneficial to ping at about here. That's put a habitat there. There is habitat there. Yeah, so you can see, this is figuring out where the initial habitats are. Though I will start to position myself kind of based on this. So I'll, I try to, I remember I tried to get like up one here, up one here. And then, 
it's actually shut down because I depleted its charge, so that needs to recharge now. Uh, need to think about consistent food supply. Carb carbohydrate film will be simple to film. Carbohydrate farm will be simple to build, and we'll find a large supply of low quality food. Use technology tree to unlock carbohydrate farm. So this is our first research task. How much farm? Research development cost free. So this is our first food source. Uh, think algae and stuff like that so it's called low quality for a reason it's also different things like gardens uh solar tower we can actually get a biome scanner at long range the docks is actually a pretty important one because it allows me to do things like separate my power generation via coal into a separate building grid so that most of the colony is not affected by the air quality reduction it also allows me to connect to more remote mining and operation stations later on better efficiency uh, different resource processing like drills and coals and yeah so there anyway food I need to build a carburetor farm which requires no input besides power and oxygen and will just slowly generate food and I think I'll stash that over here I suppose now the thing is carburetor food it's something to fill your belly with but it's not actually good for you. So you, you actually run into things like vitamin deficiency and stuff. So it has negative health effects if it's the only thing your people are eating. Bit of a problem. Are you recharged? You are ready to roll again. Okay, right. So I got to a bot about here. Let's ping over here. Here. And you're out of charge again. Yeah, well, I'm going to build another couple of you guys, just because I want to get the initial scanning faster. Uh, let's pop one there. There's, like most games, I try not to build over all the resources in the central area, just because that's a slight issue. Like, I want to try and maintain the local environment, because it looks nice. And because it looks nice, I, I don't want to remove it. So I'm actually burned through a lot of my steel. It's completed. Food supplies. Thank you. See? I'm doing good. Me, I'm completing things. Crew members ultimately assigned to the roles, jobs that match the roles. Uh, keep critical building staff. Building priorities can be set. High priority positions will be available. Crew will low build priority will be reassigned. Recommended to set essential buildings like food production, power, and oxygen as high priorities. Change the priority of a building. Oh, it's in there. Okay, right. You are a high priority structure. You are high priority structure, so that's oxygen, power, and food. So that will also reassign as needed. How are we doing in terms of food? Where's my food reserve thing? Oh, there it is. Uh, low quality food per day, low quality produced, 15, 7. Okay, I can actually cut that in half for the moment. Additional six crew members to assist. Never mind, I need that person on there. Before I set them down, we expect to adequate housing facilities made available. Build two living quarters and stop out 60 units of low-quality food to allow larger workforce. Okay, I will... Just bring someone in. There we go. And... Two housing units. This will be... Fairly good, I suppose. Like... That. Notice my power is now running low, so I'll actually reassign an extra one. And my 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 employees are getting busy. Need to locate a large part of resources. Extraction points. The extraction points should be shown. So scans. Build a solar tower so we can do that. I have done that. I have been doing that. I am on top of this. I am exploring my world. Ooh, there's a lot of deposits over this way, apparently. Well, uh, habitats, I should probably say. And then this will probably be my last ping for habitats. This area, I am content, is has been mapped for habitats. What have we got? A common habitat, a common habitat, a common, and a two common habitats over this way, which are very close together, so this is a good prime spot for extraction and exploitation. A single light source, a single habitat stabilizer would catch both of those. So it's a, an area that's 
more efficient to check out. A light tower. So I've, uh, it's noticed you can't build too far away. But if I pop one about here, this will well, this will also reveal a bunch of stuff around the area too. And then I'll connect this to the power line over here. There we go. So I can wander out a way to build stuff, it's just I can't actually build stuff too far out either. So I need to be a bit more careful with that one. Also for crew unemployed. Locate a fuel extraction point using sonars. Okay, I need to scan for other stuff besides just habitats. I'm sorry, my search for the unknown wildlife got the better of me. Um, not picking up anything. By the way, as soon as you click, even if it's not shown up, it does actually mark as gone. So I can save some pings. If, if reading none. Now I'm reading medium. Okay, let's pulse here. You're recharging. That's why I built a second one. Oh, never mind. Sorry. It, it, it does wait until you've actually picked stuff up. So, I've got to wait for a pulse to finish before I actually go and fire off another pulse. It's about here. One found. Good. Anything else fuel-wise? There's something over here. And that's about it for fuel. Okay. Right. Next up, resource beacons. Oh, I'm out of power again. Come on. Get it all online. Next thing. Stone tower is located near its extraction point. Appears to be a coal deposit. Located in darkness, we construct a light tower. Once the area is lit, we can build coal extractor on coal extraction points. So yeah, as I said, like more permanent structures require lights. Speaking of, let there be light. Hmm. Lights over here. What have we got? We have got a spider crab and a rosefish. Okay, we've got two different things. Also of note here is the you can see some modifiers straight away. Potency, chance of cloning increased successfully for using more of this stuff. So 30% for these guys, 25% for these guys. Lifespan, so this drastic effect on how long our pause, how long think clones live by adding things to the mix. Four, five, and this one is no mutation. But if I mix in some rosefish, my clones have a 25% increase to the risk of mutation. Uh, the thing is, mutation is a mechanic that was actually really kind of brought in after I last played, so I am unsure. Will I get a Jean Grey? Will I get a Cyclops? Will, will I get a Rogue? I do not know. Maybe I'll get a Nightcrawler. Hmm. Ultra Rare! Magneto! Gotta catch them all. No, I doubt it's going to be quite that way, but uh, yeah, so we're getting further into the whole playing god side of it with that little bit. So, anyway. Um, let's need to research new technologies, adapt to life down here, build a research lab, already got it. Staff a crew, already got it. General research per day, already doing it. Uh, we can also attach modules to the research lab to provide additional re daily research data. Yes, modules. I do not have more modules. I forgot to do that. Um, should, well, that's basic air purifier. Boost. The, okay, so that, that's good. That kind of. I don't think that was in the game last time I played it. Um, upgrade oxygen generators. Yep, call efficiency by much generator. I want something to boost my research, but it might not be available in this tier. Mess hall. Workplace crew assigned to workplace buildings within its area of effect. Also, oh, this encourages you to cluster your buildings close together with workplaces. Crew access consume half the amount of food. That's actually a very good thing to have. Something I need to be aware of. Um, recreation with crew within, within its area effects provides a small amount of oxygen. Also, improves air quality. Maybe. But no, I don't see anything. I will pick up docks though, because I want that before I do the coal mine. And I, I'm thinking biome scanner. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the coal. Well, I can actually just chuck. <laughs> I can just chuck critters into a, a, a power plant, effectively. 
so burn a deposit to b generate power, but it's like, yeah. Anyway, I, d I need the coal extractor. I will also grab the drill extractor and the alloy furnace. Basic resources required. Steel is in finite supply. I will need more of that. Now, something I do kind of want as well is actually going to be that which requires steel. Yeah, so, you see, steel is proving a bit of an issue. Where are my subs? You're doing coal. Oh, I'll check on the attraction points. You're doing fine. You're over here. I've got one on steel. Wait, didn't I have three subs assigned? Am I missing one? I am. One one ran out. Okay, get get all that steel up, please. Okay, right, anyway, over here. So, got those two. This is, by the way, I can turn this off. And it'll just power down. That that means um, I can I can search out, and then if I don't want to use the area immediately, or if I'm shutting down the, the area, I can just shut things off. But right now I am looking very hungrily at the habitats that are over here. Shame I didn't find any other good spots in terms of habitats, but there are two small coal deposits. There's another two habitats over here, two uncommon habitats and a coal extraction point. That's a coal extraction point and a habitat. And that's a small coal deposit. Okay. Oh, decimated whale. A decimated whale carcass, what's left of it is slowly being picked apart. Ooh. Actually, that's something I've not been, I've not been scanning for. I haven't been scanning for points of interest. I've just stumbled on one. What did I scan last? I scanned for fuel. I have not scanned for resources yet. So, resources. Let's find the resources. It said high over here, didn't it? Yeah, that, that's a high one there. Okay. I will check around and be back in a second. Alert. Six new crew have arrived. Okay. I'm just continuing my research scan. Um, I've actually nailed the mechanic as well. When it's um, it it takes the marks the deposit after a pulse starts to come from your marked point, so you just have to wait until the last pulse starts to have everything marked off, and then that's all you need to do. But anyway, um, six extra crew have turned up. Oh, there's a lot of resources over here apparently. Look at all that. Facts. Yeah, there's a very resource-rich zone down this way, of some kind. Let's see, I will go ahead and bring you around here. That was a bit back here, it said medium, I think it was. No. Pulse from here. Look at all this resources. Ooh, very tasty. And then, yeah, that got it all, but this is a big one. Concrete extraction point. Let's pause it. Iron deposits. Concrete. Can I build the mining beacon out in the darkness? Oh yeah, but all this extra stuff now in here. Uh, apparently I can to a point. So yeah, I can, I can send the mining subs out into the darkness if I want to. I'd forgotten about that. That's good to know. <laughs> Though I still haven't actually finished my scanning. There's still more scanning to be done. Uh, still more things to find out here. I've not done a POI search, and I've not done a... Actually, yeah, the POI search is the thing I've not done. Biome search I can't do yet. I should actually probably just pick that up. So I can just get all the scanning done, and then once all the scanning's done, I don't actually need the sonar tower in the area anymore, and I can just scrap them and get the resources back. So, 60 points? Yeah, let's do that. Get the biome scanners online. Jolly good. Snap. R&D. We've got all that sorted out. Resource extraction. Sonar intelligence. Next objective is coal. Build a light tower. Near a fuel extraction. Unlock the thing. And then build the coal extractor. This is also where the docks thing comes in as well. Do I need a docks on my main base? I, I don't think I do because these are technically docking pads. That's fine. Just trying to think about future arrangements. I want to be out this way because there's that. How easily can I get to that? Light tower? 
Uh, that's two light towers away to get to that one. But it, it will give me uncommon sequences. Now, the thing is, I don't want just uncommon. I don't want just common. I want stuff. This one, however, has a common habitat and a coal extraction. So I'm thinking food and coal extraction will be over this way. I am fine with that. So, can I, um, unfortunately, it doesn't have the reach to hit that concrete patch further back. That's going to require a separate tower. Let's go ahead and do this out here. Now, one drawback, though, of building like a separate thing is that it, it, I'm going to have to provide power and oxygen to it. You know? It's like, how dare people require basic stuff. But yeah, I'm going to need power and oxygen supplies on the separate grid. So I'll need an oxygen generator and a power plant. But the habitats can remain on this grid, so I can actually migrate my power generation over there in terms of coal power, as soon as that gets done. I just need to... Actually, I need the... Uh, I need the... I can't get the... Yes. <laughs> I'm making words! Ah! Uh, no. I can't actually get the food extraction yet, but I think I will. Let's get the... Uh, well, I'm, do I'm, I'm doing the... Welcome to the game called The. Every time I am Mark 3 says The, take a sip. Don't worry, you're probably be down from alcohol poisoning before anything serious more than that happens. So, yeah, fauna traps. One here, and one here. Thank you. And that will actually let me start capturing stuff. Yay! Back to scanning. <laughs> Points of interest. Um, point of interest are actually a lot rarer, but they are something that uh, you can't do anything with right now. But when we get a submarine pen, we can do something a bit better with it. Like, we can actually send a cruise out there and check things out. Uh, nothing else. So, apparently, that was the only one here. Uh, habitat we've done. A biome scanner. Oh, that releases a massive pulse. Discover signs of an underwater creature. The orange scans. What did I find? I'm only detected. Where? What What the thing? What Overseer. the happened? In an effort to advance our mission goals, we've authorized the use of a long-range sonar scan. Data from the scan has revealed the familiar contours and valleys of the ocean floor, including several areas of scientific interest. In addition, we've noted something unusual. Inconsistent blips that suggest a large, moving object. Our technicians are currently analyzing the data in more depth. An equipment malfunction is the leading theory at this time. But we heard something when that pulse went off. Also, can't you hear something now? Also, build a recreation building near workplaces to buildings to provide crew with access. Okay, yeah, I need to get that unlocked. Honestly, I could do with another research lab. Um, add no available crew. Did I get six more people? Yeah, I've got eight, 18 gemless crew available, but um, they're all busy. You're doing fine. Food, I've got 15 and 11, so I need those two. Power, I need more power for my available structures. I'm actually done with this now, so I think I can get rid of this one. How do I scrap it? <laughs> I am Mark three of the big questions here. How do I scrap stuff? Oh, also, yeah. Tunnels. Build tunnels, you can actually build elevations. That there are different elevations to the seafloor. And this is a junction, so you can build a tunnel piece and then you can connect to all, um, all sides of it on the grid. So it's like a mini version of the hub in that respect. So that's a central point for building more complex junction networks. Uh, I think there was a... I know there was a demolition tool, I just don't... I don't know what it was. Is it just delete? No. Hmm. I don't know. Pawn trap rosefish is now being captured. And spider crabs are now being captured. Aha! Now these things will st start to deplete over time. Um... 
there should be something in here indicating biome health. That's going on. Okay, right. Uh, news of the anomalous readings have quickly spread among the crew. Heightening anxiety. Uh, request that all areas of the facility remain well lit to ensure everyone's safety. So yeah, this is like um, buildings will shut down if not in light. Because they know there's something out there in the dark. I know there's something out there in the dark. I wasn't expecting to reveal that quite so soon, but uh, yeah. There's got to be a thing to tear things down. I remember there was... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway. I will, however, turn you off. Because I don't need you guys anymore. That's gives power. That gives me a light over here. Haha. -ha. We have got another rosefish. I'll leave that alone for now. Because you are going to play host for... Well, you're going to serve dinner. Yeah, you're going to, you're going to serve dinner. Hmm. Just in the coal extractor, which I will put down. Notice it has a big um, atmospheric penalty by itself. That is why I um, want this to be on a separate network, really. I'll pop that there. I will build. Where the heck are the docks at? There's the docks. Just a single structure, but. Um, Multiple docks can be built up, if needed. I'll put it, I guess, there. Then I'll just use this the uh, tunnel network to connect everything. There we go. That, that should do it. Now get some power. Of course, we also need the um, auction feed. Notice, um, by the way, it's popped up on stilts. That's because of the little hill there. So it's like, um, it's like, oh, elevation changing, pops up on the hill, kind of thing. So that is also kind of important to know about that it's going to do that. Uh, is there room for a elevation? I was not expecting that there actually. Yes, there is. Okay, this is based like this, but it um, provides only straight connection rather than diagonals as well but it provides an elevation change and then the oxygen generator is going to sit up here notes by the way it doesn't actually cost any extra to have to do that so it just affects the appearance of the base but yeah this is going to be a little coal extraction and power facility when I move the power generators over this way. <laughs> that said though, I still do want to get recreation access. I actually have the points now. I can do that. Gardens. Recreation to crew within the area effects. This one says it specifically wants to be within range of workplaces. This one is just crew. Oh, it's 90. Uh, almost got it. Concerningly, this is also highlighting workplaces. So it might need to be a workplace based one as well. Let's pop one. That, that, that connects to that. If I want this to be an industrial brick area, then let's get that over there. But it means I also need some covering this area as well. So that means I need resources to build it over here. I It sucks that it doesn't affect crew areas like it, you would think it would. But no, it's um, it does just affect nearby workplaces. So I guess we don't really give our people much free time, do we? <laughs> oh no, we are a corporate overlord. Ah. But yeah, I, I do need it over here. There we go. Objective complete! Gave me some quartz glass and some other stuff. But I had to flip around with the power settings to get um, this auction system to fire up because this produced a tiny amount of auction by itself. But only put minus one. This one is four, so I need this one at the very least to have one person. But now this is active at plus ten coal per day. 
Uh, my crew relations are not very good because of access to recreation. It's like... We're still kind of worried about that. I'll turn this back on them. No, turn, actually turn you on. I want everything back online again because extra power generation is kicking in over here. As you can see. So you're functioning. You are also active, but for now I'll actually shut you off. Still not found the delete key, so I feel like I might not actually have access to that. Going up to plus 12. Which is... this is plus 20. Okay, right. So, I think it's about time I've got some cloning going. So, activate. Last couple of unemployed. Into here. Activate extra housing that I have put up. That is ready to roll. There we go. And we do have, of course, our samples coming from these two habitats over here. We can use to splice things. But what is our current thing? Um, air filtration system has limited capacity to handle pollutants. If air quality blocks over 70%, crew may start to fall ill over time. Treatment hospital. To prevent this, recommend to isolate high polluting buildings. Like I just did up there, actually. Uh, like coal extractors on separate oxygen networks. This can be achieved by creating separate tunnel systems with dock module attached. Alternatively, air purifiers can be added to the main grid to maintain air quality. Actually, maybe I did have access to air purifiers before, it's just I don't remember. But that is going to help. How are you doing for air quality? Um, that I'm not too sure. Uh, that should be an oxygen line. There we go. Minus 10%, plus 12% in this grid. Uh, minus 34% and plus 12 on this grid. This grid is not doing very well. Though it does actually tell me here, air quality, air quality. The question is though, that only affects work. There's no, no one actually lives over there. So how will that affect things? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, inbox. Adjective, genetic material. Way ahead of you, got that. Habitats contain uh, species with genetic material, varying rarity. Rare samples offer unique traits to enhance our experiments. We can locate habitats using the scanner beacon. Once located, form traps, begin harvesting. Yeah, I want to get over here. Because coal, yes, but also traps are too uncommon species. Actually, how close can I get you now? There's also the fact I'm short on some materials too, which is a thing. Maybe I should add some stockpiles around the place too, just to allow my subs to grab some things. Because um, if I call correctly, they can dip subs, mining subs, and construction subs, they can go to the central hubs like this, or they can go to stacks, which allow them to do that as well. And actually a submarine factory to let me build some more subs would be a very good idea. Um, I want to build it within catchment range of you. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go ahead and. I right, said so that I'm actually gonna build the submarine dock here. So it's already in tunnel network. It's already in the power network. That, yeah, I I I misclicked when I was placing a tunnel between these two. That tunnel there's an accident, but I'm not sure how to remove it. So yeah, that's the thing. Anyway. Light towers. I can still not build that far out. I require access to... I think about here should do it. Yeah, here would do, because it would give me access to that um, concrete point as well. So I can concrete with this, and then I can build a new tower over here within reach of those. So about here should be good. So yeah, I'm just chaining off my existing thing. I no, I don't have to keep this at midpoint powered, by the way. I can shut it down. Pinpoint location nearby habitats. Cloning process. Build fallen traps. Already done. <laughs> and get, give me some extra resources. I'm not going to complain about the extra resources being sent down. That's useful. Hi. Uh, all prior experiments led to subjects who suffered from poor health. Malnutrition only undertake simple tasks. Your work down here can fix this. We can fix this. Yes, I shall play God. The time has come. Open the cloning interface. Add the desired genomes to the sequence and begin the cloning process. Okay. Right. Are we ready to start playing gods? Are we ready to create lives for our pure benefit and exploitation? Hmm. 
You know, this is getting darker and darker. The more I think about it. Anyway, open the genome sequencer. Let's play. Uh, gene samples from four traps are available here. Uh, in terms of roles it can fit within the crew. Essentially, the genome potency determine how likely a crone is to successfully be created. Uh, display the habitat is stable. If habitat is not stable, it will deplete over time. Habitats are stabilized by building and being stabilized nearby. Okay, yeah, so. Uh, it seems like the stability thing has been modified since last I played, because it used to be like they had a certain amount of stock in them, which would be depleted to give us a genome, or if, like, burn it for f power or use it to create food, it, the stocks would slowly deplete, but the stocks could be replenished by the stabilizer, but it looks like this has, like, uh, been replaced by a stability mechanic. Deterioration when they're unstable, stabilization can counteract it. Uh, but yeah, mutation type Type and increased likelihood of mutation. Type. Okay. Uh, longevity. Says how the genome affects clone lifespans. So, click continue add a genome. Let's add the rosefish in. Sure, we'll have dangerously for this first one. So, if we add a sequence. Apply it here to so sequence. Click on it and remove it. Clone lab requires these two staffs to remain operational. Something up. Um, when also staffed with specialists, the lab gains additional benefits. An engineer will increase cloning speed. A scientist reduces the open mutation chance. Okay, so our mutation is purely harmful. Boo! I want super regenerative clones. I want clones that can breathe underwater through gills. Then I wouldn't need to build these silly bases anymore. No. Uh, attach modules building for increase uh, for additional bonuses. Okay. Sequence reports. Uh, Expect results of the current genetic sequence. Expect your cloning success along with crew type that will be created. Um, clone type determines which buildings slots a crew will be assigned to. Low intelligent clones are only capable of rudimentary tasks, so a an, a genuine lower class here, like um, mentally limited people. Oh wow! Well, um, I'm not. Uh, yeah, that that's something can be taken out of context. Oh wow! Well. <laughs> no. I'm not saying that people with mental deficiencies are a lower class. In games mechanics, this is this is what we're doing. We are deliberately creating a limited, toned-down version of ourselves to serve in a menial capacity. <laughs> oh, that is something that could be taken out of context so hard. But um, yeah, okay. To be clear. I know I've, I've run into a bunch of people who have um, differing mental structures. In fact, technically, I am one. I don't judge people on that. In terms of game mechanics, this is limiting people. It, it's specifically low intelligence. It specifically says that here. But low intelligence doesn't mean incapable. Yeah. I'm going to stop digging this hole. Thank you. Compared to a uh, natural human can handle most tasks. Search for new genetic materials to unlock advanced clones. Okay. Mutations reports. Shows mutation chances and mutations. Low risk. Mutations are rare. Once high risk is reached, mutation chances increase sharply. High risk clones should be considered very carefully. Right. No mutations. Um, unstable. Rapid deterioration. Clone dies within a couple of days. That's what's, ha what's happening on the surface, actually. Aggressive. Prone to anger. Risk of damaging equipment and crew. Okay. So those are the two I know of so far. And this is expected lifespan of the clone. Right. So our clone is here, who's been a single clone or repeated cloning. Previous clones and previous experienced clones at expected population levels. Top one space how many clones are created by this cloning lab are currently living. Wait, so I can actually configure individual cloning labs to produce a steady stream of clones. Actually that makes sense. Um Considering that if a lot of my workforce is ex expendable, I don't want to be cr manually creating batches, which is how it used to work. So this seems like there's some automation here, which can allow me to recreate if I've got the samples available for it. And we'll close expected once the cloning process stabilizes. We can close this. Okay, right. So okay, so yeah, I can yeah I can set up an individual labs to take available things. Apparently can only draw... I can't put two from this... Two from the same habitat. It's like only one from the habitat it's going to be. So I, unless it's like it has to be three different things. It might be that. Rosefish. So 55% chance of creating a... 
basic level clone. A 8% chance of becoming unstable, aggressive, sickly, more food, and sick, gluttonous, more food. Mutation, high risk, but that's purely from the rosefish. If I can find some better samples to mix in, I can reduce that risk. But 55% uh, chance of succeeding. There's also no modules installed on this particular bay either. Okay, so single or rib. For no Pete, this will give me an expected five population from this current setup. Yeah, begin cloning. Give me. I want five more people. <laughs> and if you have a mouse over, you can actually see the people wandering around in there. So it's like, yeah. Um, also, apparently, I'm not. I don't have people to operate this just yet. Fed all crew for 15 days. Was that an objective? <laughs> Might have been. <laughs> I don't know. But repeating, this thing will constantly do that. If I look at this... Okay, so this is assigned to the cloning lab, so I do need multiple traps to use the same genome repeatedly. Achievement. First steps. Make your first clone. And that's actually gone to work in the submarine bay as well, so I can actually use this to get some more stuff. Um, Alright, let's, let's explore this a little bit. Submarine commands... This shows me a map of what I've got. Also, the biome ping has revealed some coral reefs and kelp forests nearby. There's also, of course, the decimated whale, but I do want to get an exploration sub. I need quartz glass. So maybe some mining subs. I need quartz glass for the mining subs. I need quartz glass. Flat out. Pull you off. Steel. Give me some quartz glass, please. Thank you. Right. Excellent over here. Create your first clone with basic traits derived from your collected genome sample. Uh, there are multiple genomes in the deep. Each will have to be assessed based on its type and mutation factors. This clone will automatically be signed into one of the basic employment slots, the crew panel, to ensure each one is being filled by the appropriate crew member to gain optimal effectiveness. Okay. So if I get some scientists and engineers, um, well, scientists will be good, reducing mutation chance if I want to use higher risk uh, genetics in them. Also, that one is now active. I can actually get a new... No, I can't, because I need quartz glass. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm bottling, bottling myself with lack of quartz glass. <laughs> I need the glass. Something else. Functional but limited. Must be addressed. Cloning modules will be attached to the cloning lab, and it will enhance its functionality in a number of useful ways. Um, adding more genome samples will also improve chance of a successful cloning procedure. Inverting these will allow us to continually replenish our workforces to help combat short life cycle of the current batches. Yeah, our clones are currently quite basic. It's also said this is quite stable as well. So it's not being tapped too hard, this one. I wonder if that means I can modify the uh, fauna traps later to... Or get, um, or get them to uh, produce faster, but at risk of the habitat. That might be a thing. Transport sub. Transport sub used for ferrying between different docks. Dock buildings now. Yep. I think we start with one actually. I've seen sub going back and forth over here. Though right now one of my submarine, my construction submarines is over here, clogging up the docking spot. So this is. I can't tell this to just. Well, I can scrap the construction sub. Um. But yeah, that, that's the thing. I might have to build a more dedicated thing for that. I don't know. Oh, well. <laughs> I... Cloning failed. Boo! <laughs> well, they're... yeah, it's only 55% viable, so it's doing its best. Oh, there's separate slots here for the engineer and the researcher. Okay. What I want is... Oh, okay, to get the next tier, I just need to discover a new biome, which means I need to build out to a new biome, which means I need glass and all that stuff. Catch the assessments, unlock the cloning module, success rate in the tech tree. Do I have access to that? Uh, no, I don't 
think I do. No, I don't. I, I need that extra thing. I need to get into a new biome. And actually, to do that, I need an exploration sub. I've just, I've, I've just remembered. Um, if I go out and explore, then I can get access to a new area. And also, um, it'll, every time a sub goes out reconning, um, it fires a flare. Or Well, this is how it used to work. I don't know if it works now. But if it goes out to a place, it fires a flare, which gives you temporary vision, which you can actually use to slap down at a forward outpost with light and stuff in it. And then that can be used to um, as a springboard for accessing the local area. So, so that, that, that's something to be aware of. I, um, I do want an exploration sub to do this, though. I will begin construction, and we'll begin expansion later. I do hope I can remove these things. I seem to remember I used to be able to demolish stuff, but I can't do it now. I did, maybe, did I remove that? Was this always the case that I couldn't? Or are these going to just sit here with the power down icons the whole time? Which is um, honestly not what I want. I, I, I don't see it. Oh! Pfft. There it is. I can do it! Yay! They are destroyed. I don't think it gave me back resources though. Full of coal. Ooh. Okay, I need, to, I need to get some stockpiles in place. I think I will go ahead and install a couple over here. Because this area is going to be... This is kind of on a a route. So having some more stockpiles out this way is, I think, probably a good idea. A fuel stockpile, a building material stockpile, and a food stockpile. And there's a little transport sub going back and forth there. And the clone failed. I need to improve that. Mining subs are pausing. Why is that? Um, you're okay, but you are... Oh, I'm out of concrete. You know what? Both of you go burn that concrete deposit. Get, get it all then. But yeah, um, I will go ahead and do exploration next time, though. Did I build the exploration sub? I did. Uh, yeah, I have. It's, it's sub alpha 1 is available. It is... There it is. That's my new exploration sub. Wait, no, that's my transport sub. That's my exploration sub. It's, it's a bigger version. <laughs> oh, it really is a bigger version. Oh, they use the same basic pattern. Well, they are both passenger carriers. It makes sense. But this one, I can assign people to it, and they go and explore things. But that will have to wait for next time, though, because we are at an um, episode time, roughly. I kind of stopped inside my time a little bit erratically here, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, this is a series I'm going to be running in general. Don't worry, I'm, I am going to go back and be picking up in progress series as well. So, get things going. I did mention in the uh, shapes one that I, I am feeling better with that little short break I was, I've had. So there will be more stuff coming. Like I've got um, a screwdriver's coming up, I've got a space truckers coming up. And I've got this one as well. This is going to be the first of those three that I'm going to mention are coming straight out. Uh, but I'll pause it there, stop blathering, and let you guys get on with your day. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Feel free to uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps out me, helps our channel, give me those virtual headbats I oh so crave. And I'll catch you all some other time. Mm. Only the hide hood icons, I could actually give you a, a really clean... Oh, recreation lens. 12 out of 20 people have access to recreation. And it showed me where it doesn't. Yeah, houses don't count at all. <laughs> For some reason. Don't know why. But yeah, I'll see you all later. Why is it alerting me that the crew have been housed for 20 days? I feel that might be an objective somewhere and I'm not seeing it. Either that, or... Oh, it's a morale bonus. Okay. <laughs>